What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I have this patent half euro, looks like a five pin, sent to me and pinned up by Bobby Keys. So we got a mummy DL type key, DL type keyway. And my experience with uh, these euros is they're usually pretty well made locks, so I'm expecting tight tolerances. And um, well, with Bobby, you really n never know what kind of pins you're going to find. He uh, he mixes it up quite a bit, so um, I'm not going to wager any guesses until I start picking here. <laughs> All right. Get at her. See what I can do with this uh, medium type hook here. Of course, my furnace kicks on as soon as I start recording. What are you going to do? Oop, it out of two. Get out of one. I had a couple of little clicks in the back, but I uh, don't think they were final. Clicks. I think they were kind of micro clicks, serrations, or something like that. Another one. Nope. Even more out of. Felt like four. Three is on the ground, does not want to go anywhere. Oh, pretty good fall set out of five. not going anywhere. Two's not going anywhere. Where's this three? Almost feel feedback, but not really. It's kind of muted. Almost feels like I might have to manually try to set this pin. Oh, crap. Whoa, okay. I thought I just massively overset it, but no, it was pin three. And uh, she's open. So pin three is very sharp. <laughs> That's all I can say about pin three. Guess we'll find out here in a sec. thing up hopefully not lock it up okay well that sounds like on the other side of the room we'll have to find that after mm, decent sized ledge there so I'm gonna throw a shim in there oh sorry about the camera guys throw a shim in there just in case um, Key pin or something in there. All right. All right. Let's see what Bobby put in here. We got all five, and yeah, number two is pretty close to the top there, so didn't have to do much to him, but did have to pick him. Ooh, very nice serrations on one. Like a double spool on two. A T-pin with a spool on three. T 
key pin, key pin. A nice serrated pin on four. And a nice serrated pin on five. These almost look like factory serrations. They are very, very evenly spaced. These uh, must be taking tips from Trickmaster. <laughs> this is a pretty, pretty good looking serrations. Take a look at a sec here. We've got threading in one, four and five. I'm just gonna double check, make sure those other ones don't have any. One, four and five, yeah. Two and three don't, don't have any serrations. find some tweezers of course I'm not ready for any of this I just got home from work so there we go we have a tapered serrated pin with a copper spring we have a spool, kind of a double spool, very sharp on the bottom. There's pin three, which is, I was pretty interested in because uh, it took quite a bit to set it and it jumped. So uh, it's a reduced diameter, it looks a little bit reduced diameter at the tip. It's a very nice serrations. Well, the springs are the same so far and these last two I'm kind of interested in too because they had a lot of play to them a lot of clicks so oh, it's a spool it's a spooled t-pin though there's the bottom of that t-pin is reduced a little bit another stock spring so, so far no changes in the springs number five is a double spool And looks like the spring is the same. I can get it out. There we go. Yeah, all the springs are the same. And unless he pulled one of those caps off, I don't think. Yeah, none of those are threaded. So, this is what Bobby had in this lock. This is the uh, five pin patent. Half euro. Take a look at some of these pins here. I'll do a side profile after because you can really see what's going on with these pins when you do that. Let me grab a pointer. We got uh, some very nicely serrated pins here in the driver section. Uh, or sorry, the uh, key pin section. And also some nice serrations in the driver. But number one is very, very deep, very uniform. A double spool on uh, key pin number two. A T-pin spool on... Key pin number three, um, and some couple of really nice serrated pins on four and five, and up at the top, this thing need it to focus. Come on, that's about as good as I'm going to get. Some nice micro serrations on one, a uh, spooled serrated pin, very sharp at the bottom there on two. Uh, number three, which uh, really sharp at the bottom there and that was really catching up in the cylinder um it it went i th <laughs> thought i almost overset the thing really nice pin and uh nice reduced diameter spool so there's a reduced diameter on the bottom and then a spool and a double spool and five let me turn these sideways we can get a better look at these you can see just how good those serrations are a uniform he got these serrations these last two almost look factory I mean if, if those were handmade <laughs> very good job Bobby even uh, I think they are handmade too because this first one is not factory you could tell just by how deep those serrations are and uh, they are just as evenly spaced so he must be taking 
taking hints from Trekmaster30, who's uh, the master of serrated pins as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so, good job on this lock, Bobby. It was a lot of fun to pick. Uh, thought I wasn't going to get it for a minute there. I was I ran out of feedback and I had to force pin 3. And I thought I overset it, but it opened. So, thank you, Bobby Keys, for pinning up and sending me this lock and sending it out to the community. I'll pass it along. And uh, thanks, everyone else, for watching. Later, guys.